In a fancy photo, you can manipulate the color of an image using adjustment layers. You can simply go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and use all these color options here. You can also go to Window and Adjustments, and that will display a panel adjustment. You got down here, you got levels, you got a load of great defaults. You can run through them, but I'm just going to quickly click here, black and white. I want to turn the image black and white. So just click, that's it. You get a panel. You can manipulate that. You can change red, yellow, etc. So you can just tweak it slightly and then close. So you've got your black and white image. You can go to layers. Now you can see what happened. It's applied it above the background layer. I don't want that. I want it to be part of the background layer. So simply just drag down, highlight the whole thing. You see the whole thing's blue there and release. Now you've got the background, you've got the adjustment. Look, also, I can manipulate that further by adding a mask. Because what I want is I want this face to be in color, the hair to be in black and white, the rest of the image in black and white. So just go down here with that selected and just click mask layer. And that will add a mask layer to that adjustment. And you can see there. Now you can manipulate it using grayscale, black and white. Just go over here with the paintbrush tool. So paintbrush tool, that's what I'm gonna use, but you could use other tools as well, gradient tool, etc. Now, simply, and I'm using 440 for the width, you can of course vary it, make it smaller to make fine adjustments, and you can just apply. Now you can see at this point, I'm applying white. It doesn't make any difference because the mask itself is white, and you can see obviously it does no effect. But if I go over here, just change that to black, so just click there. Now in black, it gives you a nice preview as well, which is really handy. And you can just hover over there and just apply. Just apply the brush and just do it very loosely like that. Now, if you go too far, you can always undo. Maybe you decide, you know what, that's a bit too wide. You can reduce it down. Don't have to go with 440. Just apply it. Just apply it in one stroke. And there you have it. Very quick. Now, you can see I've made a slight mistake. If you make a slight mistake, simply Go to white again, and then again, just go over there, just hover it, and then it's back to black and white. Now you might think, you know what? Now I've changed my mind. In fact, I want the face to be black and white and the hair to be coloured. Or well, what you can do, simply go to layer and invert as long as the mask is selected. Make certain that's selected, layer and invert then you get that image. And of course you can then manipulate it further. If you found this of interest, any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Also, please subscribe to the channel, always adding new tutorials about Affinity Photo, Photoshop and others all the time. Bye.